Hey everyone, today I'm diving into one of the most shocking financial collapses in recent history, the downfall of Peregrine Financial Group. Buckle up because this story is a wild ride of fraud, deception, and betrayal. So, Peregrine Financial Group, or PFG, was once a respected brokerage firm. It all started to crumble in 2012 when the CEO, Russell Wasendorf Sr., was caught red-handed in a massive fraud scheme. We're talking about a staggering $215 million that was siphoned off over two decades. Now the big question is, how did Wasendorf manage to pull this off for so long? Well, he was a master of deception. For years, he forged bank statements to make it look like PFG had a healthy balance. In reality, the company was bleeding money. He even set up a P.O. box to intercept mail, ensuring no one could catch on to his dirty deeds. But as they say, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. Wasendorf's empire came crashing down when he attempted suicide in July 2012. In his suicide note, he confessed to the fraud detailing how he had been cooking the books for years. It was a shocking revelation that left employees, investors, and regulators in disbelief. The aftermath was brutal. Peregrine Financial Group was forced into bankruptcy, and Wassendorf was sentenced to 50 years in prison. The fallout affected thousands of clients who lost their investments and trust in the financial system. So what can we learn from this? It's a stark reminder of the importance of transparency and regulation in the financial industry. Always do your due diligence and be wary of red flags no matter how reputable a company may seem. And that's a wrap on the shocking collapse of Peregrine Financial Group. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into financial scandals. Thanks for watching and stay savvy out there.